Hello survivors! Featuring a new game mode, RDM map, updates to Troy and more, let's check out all the updates arriving in the December patch. The beta version of the new Siege mode has been added to new state labs. Siege mode will take place in Troy's very own graveyard and can have up to 4 players in a team. When the game begins, you must defend your inhibitor and your allies against incoming androids for as long as possible. If your team survives through a phase, you will enter a new phase where you will have to defeat stronger enemies until all players have fallen. If your inhibitor takes damage, your effective blue zone will start to shrink, but it can be partially repaired by getting close to it. While you can be redeployed after a certain amount of time, losing all the members simultaneously will end the game, so be sure to strategize appropriately. Cooperate with your fellow comrades to dominate in the new siege mode. After reviewing your feedback and analyzing our play data, we have made some improvements to Troy's terrains. If you had problems finding cover near the road, you can now hide, aim, and fight at will. We added cliffs, pits, and rocks to nearby roads of 9 different areas around Troy. The previously TDM exclusive station can now be played in round deathmatch. With 3 blue zone phases that inflict more damage than your typical RDM maps, you will fight to achieve 4 round wins to come out as winners in station RDM. While equipment and character status are the same as other RDM maps, you will only be given 1 smoke grenade and 1 poison gas grenade. As is expected to have a much faster pace as well as surprising counters, keep your eyes on the blue and always watch your back. We have applied different playable time frames for each deathmatch map. MCXC2 Lightning Tech has been added, adding noise suppression, faster ADS, and increased deviation control, but its muzzle and stock slots will no longer be useful. Battle Royale rules for Akinta have been modified. Redeploying will now provide you with a P1911, 30, 45 ACP ammos, and one smoke grenade. We have modified character hairstyles and facial hair to make them look more natural. We have made improvements to radio messages for better in-game communication. You can now send additional information to your teammates by using different radio messages. Also, all players will receive new radio messages as default. Communicate with your teammates to come out on top. We have added daily and weekly clan missions that you can complete with clan members to obtain activity points as well as the new clan coin currency. There are now more season rewards that can be obtained with clan activity points in addition to items that can be purchased from the clan shop with the new clan coins. Complete missions with clan members to obtain various rewards at the clan shop. Having difficulty fitting in all of your favorite emotes, you can now add more emotes to our new second emote page. Hold down the left or right UI to move to the other emote page and fit many more of your favorite emotes. The gift feature can now only be used by accounts that are level 20 or above. You can now gift a premium pass to friends by purchasing either the premium or premium plus pass at the NC store and selecting the friend that you want to send it to. We have added a support pack for players who want to level up their survival pass even faster. Purchasing this new pack will open each weekly mission one week earlier as well as provide two instant completion tickets every week and give additional SP based on your survival time. The support pack can only be bought by premium or premium plus pass holders and purchasing consecutive passes will lower the support pack's price even down to no charge for three consecutive premium pass holders. We have added the BP Boost item for Akinta, which can be obtained from the ANC store and events. Lastly, three new permanent products have been added to the BP store. Survival Pass Volume 14 features Red from Project Justice. Complete story missions to obtain Red's appearance and obtain the Project Justice Red outfit set by upgrading to Premium Pass and even more rewards with Premium Plus. When you purchase a premium pass and gain a certain amount of pass levels, you can receive the amount of NC that was used to purchase a premium pass.
We prepared various winter holiday events as well as plenty of rewards to show our gratitude for all the support you have shown us in the previous year. Thank you for your love and support, and we hope you will continue to join us in our ongoing journey in New State Mobile. Merry New State, everyone.